what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so I ended up seeing this particular video on Dr. Phil and I believe one of you brothers sent it to me and it's with this uh what we will call pleasantly beautiful bbw hmm. and uh she decided that she wanted to marry herself now i i can't play the video because i don't want to get any sort of copyright strike i mean i can try but typically that's what happens when you try to use fair use on these huge channels but she wanted to marry herself which is for me completely okay i i don't care and i mean i don't want you ruining my life or anything so it's okay but anyways um this is a new concept called soligamy also known as self marriage and uh, i guess when um women are having a hard time finding a man they're spending uh, like this lady did four thousand dollars to marry herself but i want you to watch this particular video because this concept is not new let's check it out why did this woman marry herself and then divorce herself after 90 days and why did this girl marry a tree and why did this woman marry a train station this woman claims she has been in love with this train station for 36 years where she would visit it every day and even gets physical too And she decided to love and marry this place after she realized she had trouble staying away from it and always hated it when she had to go home. As for the story of this girl who married a tree, not only did she had a full-blown wedding celebration with guests and relatives, she also said her vows, hugged it and kissed it too. And she claims the reason for this is to raise awareness and to protect the nature. But this woman who married herself has a far crazier story and this is it. Chris Gellera is a model who shocked the world when she announced her marriage to herself. Where she literally bought a wedding dress and officially got married at a church. And this news went so viral that news stations and magazines had to do a story about her. But what's even more shocking is that she divorced herself not long after. So what happened? You see, Chris didn't have good relationships relationships with men, where over the years, the man she dated would either cheat on her or let her down. That's when she decided she wanted to be done with men forever, which is why she decided to marry herself. And when she did that, thousands of people started sending negative comments and laughed at her. And to make things even crazier, many men and women started offering marriage proposals to Chris. But she rejected them all and told them that she had vowed to be only devoted to herself. Until one day, she decided to cheat on herself. Where what happened was Chris actually fell in loved with a guy during work and decided to leave herself for him but before you call this woman insane her reason for this is actually quite inspiring because she claims that she needed to marry herself first in order to learn how to love herself first and only after that that she had the confidence to love a man again which is why as long as you first love yourself true love and happiness will eventually find you so guys i i don't really want to even i would say roast her up i don't want to deal with that I, I want you guys to see the comments this person says this person nina m she's full of love good for her this is distracted i love that beautiful loving yourself is such a hard to thing to do 
Somebody says, I thought this was going to be some nonsense, but good for her. She wanted the wedding without being legally tied to some loser. If weddings were my thing, I would totally do this. What is wrong with people? I mean, you get out here and you marry yourself. You spend all this money to get all this attention to yourself. When the real, the, the real, the, the real reason is this, this is not about self love because you can love yourself without telling somebody and inviting them to wait. The idiots are the ones that show up to these things. Like if you ever tell me like you're going to marry yourself, I'm going to hang the phone up on you because you're an idiot. All right. But the real reason why anybody does this is because you could never get who you wanted. Cause that's what we would say. If a guy did this, if a guy did this, we would say, bro, how dumb are you? You're a complete idiot. This is the truth. We will tell a man that like, bro, how can you even do something like this? Like you didn't work on yourself. We would even talk about the guy. We would talk about his looks. We would talk about the fact that he's lazy. He didn't work hard enough. We would say that about a man for sure. However, if we were to say those same things about a woman, they would take this YouTube channel down. They will take your TikTok down because now what your commentary is about is hate speech because now you're discriminating on, well, how old somebody is possibly or what they could be possibly looking like or whatever else, which if that was a man that we were saying that we would all use those as possible indicators for why he's unsuccessful. And this is what I would love to say today. This is what I want to say. You know, you can't celebrate the fact that you didn't get what you want. That's my honest opinion. That's what the polygamy thing is about. I didn't get what I want. So now I'm marrying trees. I'm marrying buildings. I want to marry my dog. I'd like to marry a cat. This is what people are going to start doing. When in reality, you, because you want to prove to yourself, you have self-love. If you have self-love, you don't invite other people to your self-love wedding. Like you love yourself, right? So I don't need to tell anybody else. I love myself. No, I just want the world to know that I couldn't get anybody on the level that I thought I should get. So I've given up and a lot of people have given up. So and what I would say is God bless you. If you want to marry yourself, please, I, I don't care, but let's, let's be, be honest about why it is because you don't have any accountability as to why you didn't get what you wanted. Some of us in life, we want a lot of different things. We want money. We want cars. We want houses. What we don't want is to work for them. We expect that things should happen to us because we're great people. Unfortunately, the world doesn't see us like we see ourselves. We think we're great people individually, but the world doesn't see that. The world cares only about what you can do for it. Just like your mates care about what you can do for it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out.